Greetings Hunters, the title update 4 just arrived earlier today and it's fantastic. The return of Velkana and the risen form of Valstrax brings new things to the table. With one of the new skills combined with the old ones, I was able to reach the highest element attack for dual blades. Stick around and check it out on this video. Let's briefly talk about the new skill Frostcraft which comes from the Rhyme Guard set. It was earlier introduced in Iceborne and it was commonly used by Greatsword and Longsword users alike. Basically what the skill does is you build up the Frost Gauge while you are sheathed. And while you are in this Frostcraft state, you have an attack boost. The boost goes down every time you attack. Looking at the armor set, we get quite good skills that really bring out the Frostcraft's potential. For dual blades, it's possible to use the leggings, and for the gunners, you could use the helm. Right off the bat, the notable skills are Frostcraft 3, Quick Sheath 3, Critical Draw 3, and Focus 3. For dual blades and the two bowguns, I don't really see us using Frostcraft. Sure, there may be some applications, but the way these three weapons work, we probably won't stay sheathed often. Now we're getting to the good part. Dragon Conversion is a new skill coming from the Valstrax Epoch set once you slay the Risen Crimson Valstrax. While it's quite challenging to farm, the rewards are fantastic. This new skill brings your resistances to zero then converts them to element attack while you are on red scroll. I'm not sure yet how the calculations work but it's quite a big boost. While on the blue scroll, your resistances will go up and it builds up during the hunt. This set seems to be a callback to the armor skill Alatrion's Divinity from Iceborne. This full set is jam-packed with offensive skills such as Critical Boost 3 and Attack Boost 4 to go along with the Dragon Conversion. You may also notice there are a lot of level 4 slots, which you can slot with the Dragon Spirit, which is the new decoration for Dragonheart. I'm actually quite glad that they didn't include it on the set since it makes it possible for us to use this set on a non-dragon elemental weapon. Just a short comparison of what Dragon Conversion looks like compared to Mail of Hellfire and Dereliction. It's a safer version of Mail of Hellfire, but once combined with Dereliction, it packs such a high element attack stat. If you want to see the mix set I made, please make sure to stay tuned for my next videos. If you like the content and want to see more, Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me a little bit more, please check out my Patreon which will be linked below. Catch you guys next time.